Hi, I'm Ashley Marie, and today I am making these creepy, crawly, slimy, edible worms. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our fun Halloween treats, and let's get started. The first thing that you wanna do is pick your juice. Now you wanna go with something that's on the pink side of things, so I went with grapefruit juice. I've also used peach juice and added a little bit of pink to it later, so they both work. You just wanna make sure that you're picking a juice that doesn't have pulp. The first thing that you want to do is pour two cups into a jar and add four packets of gelatin. Then you wanna let it sit for about five minutes and we'll end up this like applesauce consistency. And now we're gonna microwave it for one minute on high. Take some sugar and pour it in and give it a good stir. Once you're sure that's all dissolved, you want to take some juice and fill it up to the four cups now. And now we're gonna add this Wilton white icing color. And what that is gonna do is take it from something that's clear to something that's more solid looking. It will be opaque. So now it has this great, lovely pastel pinky look to it. Um, and you can leave it just like this. And I'm also gonna add a drop of a pastel green. Now the reason that you wanna add a little bit, a, a little itty bitty, tiny teeny touch of that pastel green is that green is on the opposite side of the color wheel from red or, or pinks as we're working with. And so instead of it just being so pinky, adding a touch of green will bring it down more into the brownish spectrum, but we still want to be more on the pink side. So be very careful, don't go too far. Um, I am really happy with this color. It is looking very earth for me. I grabbed the kind of straws that have the little neck to them and we're gonna pull those open. And what that's gonna do is give uh, our worms a little bit of a, of a neck. Then you wanna take all of the straws and put them inside a really tall container that will hold them all. Now I have found that the best thing to do is to go with a one quart box. I just use one after I'm done using it for heavy cream. Um, and I go through a lot of heavy cream, so it works out well for me. Um, but you wanna make sure that you use something that's food safe, obviously, so that when we pour this liquid inside it, it won't uh, leak out or cause it to get wet. Since we made four cups, which is a quart, it's gonna fit really nicely into this one quart container, so it's a nice, easy way to go. So we're just gonna pour that right in. Well, now we're going to stick this in the fridge and leave it there for about four hours until this is set. Our worms are all set. Now it's time to pull them out of this. So I find it easier just to rip the container. Now this is kind of a mess, but we kind of want to get as much as we can off the straws before we squeeze the worms out. So I usually just kind of run my hand over uh, really fast and get rid of all the excess stuff just the junk. I have just rinsed these uh, six straws under some warm water for a couple seconds, and I'm gonna line them up on that hollow end right there with my rolling pin and press down and get them started. So now I'm gonna holding my rolling pin against the counter really hard. I'm gonna roll up my straws and it will push the jello right out. Stop when I get to the end so that they're still part way stuck in the straws. And what that allows me to do is to pick them up. And you can just kind of pull the straws away. And there you go. You have your worms. You can add to the rest. Mm. <laughs> so what do you guys think? Is it awesome? Give me a thumbs up. If it's just the perfect amount of creepiness for your Halloween, is it a little bit crossing the line, a little too gross? Don't forget to leave me a comment down below letting me know if you try this, what you think, what the reactions of other people are. Those are always my favorite. I, you know, nobody leaves a Halloween party with these worms there without some kind of opinion, uh, especially with how realistic they look with this coloring. I've seen other worms that are different colors that people think are cute and fun, but this perfect shade of earthworm just really grosses people out. If you wanna make it really creepy, you can crush some Oreos and sprinkle that over the top to look a little bit like dirt. I will warn you that if you put these back in the fridge after you squeeze the worms out, they will set in a clump and they won't be loose. So once you squeeze them out, leave them at room temperature. I wait to squeeze these out until right before the party so they can maintain that creepy factor to it. By the end of the night, you will get a lot of broken pieces of worms, but 
at the beginning of the night. It is pretty much the coolest thing on the table. Nobody can stop talking about it. It's awesome. Now, I also have some exciting news. I've created a Halloween ebook with all of my creepy crawly Halloween treats in one place for your convenience. You can find a link for that over here in the description box down below along with the recipe, links to all my other videos. I hope you guys enjoy Halloween in the fall as much as I do. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything and thanks for watching.